Alrighty guys, hello and welcome back for another dose of CSGO. And who are we going to be watching today? It's going to be Space Soldiers vs. Tengri on Train. This is going to be the ECS League that we are watching. The Development League of all places. And so today, Space Soldiers vs. Tengri, what are we going to be watching? We're going to be seeing Train, the first map, and the second map. Now, this one's going to be interesting. I mean, the first map is very interesting. The second one, about as interesting. It's going to be Cobblestone. Let's give you a bit of an idea. Neither one of these teams have gone up against each other thus far. As far as I can tell, it might be in some off-league or different lineup, but so far, this is going to be a fresh, interesting start. So, Knife Round has gone out. Space Soldier is going to be starting out on the CT side. Tangri going to be starting on the T side. Unfortunately for the T, uh, for Tangri, they've actually only got 44.4, uh, right down to the decimal point, percent win ratio on train. They played in total about 18 maps, 18 official maps on this one. Whereas Space Soldiers, on the other hand, they've got about 61.5%. They've played 32 maps, which they've won, and then 20 maps they've lost. This is all on train, obviously. So straight up, we're going to be diamond into this. Lob utility and aggression coming out from the CT. So look at this. Major going to be peeking up from Soldiers. He's going to get spotted out, gets the headshot. Nonetheless, but over towards the A side, Fitch is going to get a kill now. Paz, he's going to be going straight up against three of the T. As the pressure comes on, he gets a headshot, but Snake, he's going to be able to get the trade up, but the push comes in. It was Heaven looking to get the kills. They get the bomb drop. Look at this. They've got the position in. There's three on two in the this the T's. They're gonna be looking a little bit disappointed with themselves here. The bomb was a drop. The angles they were holding were not correct. Even though Major was dropped down to 20 on one HP, he's still looking rather healthy here, considering he's the extra leg or arm in that Space Soldiers sort of force here. So we got the Zantaris here. That's be a major last player's life to live now. SMK gonna be pushing in, he gets one kill. Is he gonna be able to follow up? Not quite, as Xante and Despi gonna be the last two players left alive, and boom, nice and easy for these guys. Picking up the remnants of uh, their colleagues. Now we're gonna be moving into the second round. We're gonna be seeing the M4 coming out on Xante. Uh, is he gonna be buying up head armor? He can't actually afford head armor. I would say that's an interesting buy. Especially when you're going to be going up against the uh, T side, which more than likely just going to be, they could force up, or they could just go for Glocks. Either way, you want to have that armor because they're not going to have uh, the the bomb money, so they're going to be either forcing up, going or for the pistol buy. So we are going to be seeing three sets of Deagles and two sets of uh, Tech Knights. And boom, one to Gramzik going large straight away at the beginning of this round. Question is, is he going to be able to continue it on? So that was a gun dropped, and so far on CT side. Two UMPs left, and that Famous. And the Famous is really abused at the moment because the UMPs come in and kind of shoved it away. It's like, you know what? This is the new meta. But we have got the M4 and Xantras, but he has no head armor. So even at a distance, the Tech 9 could easily take him out. I suppose it's not too much of a, a bad issue not having head armor against these pistols, but at the same time, still want to have it. Okay, so you've still got one minute left on the clock, and all the T's left alive. They got the numbers gain, uh, but fortunately for them, they're going to be playing up against rifles over towards B side. They're going to be dropping the uh, smoke down, but they're going to get sprayed down. The Famous going large, picks up two kills. Zantaris, the M4 picks up one, and now Patchen and Rams are going to be left, last two left alive. The push through the smoke is going to be coming out, and Major should be able to guess. The bomb has rotated. Patching going to be coming over towards the A side. Kallax going to be able to get a kill with the UMP. Missing a few shots there, but... Doesn't fall to any pressure. Now, Ramzik, though, looks like he might well fall here with this 66 HP. Gonna get dropped. And so, interestingly, guys, we are gonna be casting all the games today, even the, even the North American games. I'm fully dedicated here. I'll be up until about 3 a.m., I'd imagine, casting the ECS Development League. It is... I'm, I'm loving this. I'm so passionate about it. And moving into the next round, we're going to be seeing the T's looking a little bit disappointed. They've got no guns, especially with Snake. He's going to get dropped, and that's one of the pistols gone. Now I've got three Glocks and a P250 coming out. And now Ramzik, he's got that P250. It was a main, and Xantaris here going to be looking to try and face off anyone who tries to play against them. But at the same time, rotation's coming in. Might be a little bit too early, especially as Ramzik is actually going to make full use of that P250. Going to get a kill, but Pala's going to be making full work of that UMP. Gets three kills, four kills. This man went absolutely huge there. And just look at the economy there. That's going to be building up nice and tight there. Six kills to one, and he's got 7.8k in the bank. And the bomb hasn't gone down thus far for the T side, so we're going to be seeing the first buy up here. 
buy versus buy, you're not going to be seeing that UMP and Famous stay on the, the CT side, but more interestingly, the double orb setup going up against Ramzik, who's got a full glass cannon ready to get shattered. Now Fitch, he's pushed straight in. Look at this. He's playing quite interestingly here. He's going to be pushing in. He's going to be able to get a kill as well. This is the entrance that he's needed and follows up onto Zandras. And this is the three on five situation they really wanted to get. Now they have to be careful from long trains. Kalex going to make full use out of this double orb says up now. Major. The Famous coming in from long trains with the, the Famous. Boom, counter kill comes out for Ramzik, who hasn't got the armor, remember. So if Major picks around the corner, he could easily take him out. But at the same time, Ramzik with the counter position isn't going to allow him that privilege. And he's going to back off. The, the CTs here, you can tell they, they want to save this, this double up setup. If they can take it through to the next round, they don't need to worry. They've got enough money to be able to buy up. So Kalix and I think I think it was, yeah, so Major were he was actually the player with the AWP. So that'll be Despi will be able to drop over to, well, actually, yeah, he'll be able to drop a gun over to another teammate. And bada boom, bada boom. He'll be able to buy up some rifles. I'm really interested to see how Tangri can do in this because obviously they haven't actually got too many maps uh, played on this. In total, only 18 when in the large things, that's not too much. And when you're looking at all their map score, it's actually quite depressing. <laughs> Apart from Cobblestone, they've actually got 6% win ratio on that, but that's 9 to 6. So still, that's only 15 maps played in total on official. Whereas on the other side, uh, Cobblestone uh, for Space Soldiers, they played it, what, I think it was like 77 times, and they've won 51 out of 77. That, that's a big number. That's something to be a bit scared of. Through all the iterations, they've actually done quite a big amount of impact against them. Talking about impact, let's see what the T's can do over towards the B side. Now, Major with the M4 counter them, takes them down, but the trade comes out. SNK going to be getting the entrance they need. Sandro's going to be looking to peek out here if he's not careful. Could get dropped, but peeks out the perfect time. Sonic is going to get dropped. Not looking in his favor, but at the same time, SNK once again going in for the trade. Picks the kill up. He's going to be in a very difficult situation here. We're going to be seeing it two AKs and AWP versus a double up setup. And the M4. And we have got Patch in here holding up behind them. If Paz pushes up, that's going to be the, the M4 drop down. He's going to do exactly that. Dropped. This should be in the bag right here for space unless we can see some early frags coming out. Right, so the situation is going to happen. Ramza's going to get dropped. That's the AWP and Heaven coverage gone. We do have, uh, obviously, Patch in rotating through, but he's actually going to be going over towards lower. And Kalix, he's going to be able to spot old player. He takes the headshot, and now the smoke's going to be going down. The retake is in full effect. Patching the last one left alive. He's going to have to go in for the push in here. And he's completely exposed. Despy. Is he going to be able to get the kill? No. It'll be defuse. He's not. Wait, what? Oh, camera switched around. And he is going to get the defuse. As Patching completely missed it there. Dived in a little bit too head first. And got killed. Wow. What a turnaround there, guys. So Space Soldiers here currently in a 4-1 to lead at the moment. They've managed to defuse the bomb once. It has been planted twice so far by Tangri, who've only managed to win one. The economy is going to be suffering if they're not careful, but the Molotov coming out into Kalex. He's going to brave it. Tag down to 52, but that information, you could easily have got a kill, so he risked it for a chocolate biscuit. Unfortunately, he didn't get the chocolate biscuit. Now Patchen, he's going to be peeking over towards... Uh, <laughs> An orb, apparently. And he's going to get dropped. Ramsey going to be going in for the trade. It works out for him. This is going to open up the A site and B site a lot as the rotation is going to have to come in. Unless we see a dangerous play coming out from the Space Soldiers where they just leave it completely open. But this position you can see from Major here. He's in a quick rotation spot all the way over towards A or staying over in towards B. So either way, he's going to be able to support both sides here. And Ramsey, you can see, is out over towards the A, uh, B, A site. With the AK-47, he's planted up above. And he's going to go in for the spray. He takes down another, but the trade comes out. Paz going to be making full use out of the M4. He has been spotted out, though. If he's not careful, he is. He's more than careful. He's exuberant. He gets the kill. Now, Fitch with the Tech-9 going to have to pick up the AK-47 and do some hard work with this. He's going to be one of the last two players left alive. As I say that, he's going to get dropped. Now, Sonic, fast as light, he's going to be able to get a kill, and he's going to have to try and trade up another two. He's going to be very low, but Kalix, he's on 19 HP, almost equal HP. Grenade going out. Doesn't quite land any damage. I think it might be in a point of uh, armor there. Now, Kalex is going to rotate through up into heaven, and Sonic, is he going to be able to get the read on this? It's going to be a long play for Kalex. He hasn't got the diffuse kit. Is there one on site, though? He knows all it's going to take is one shot from him. He hasn't got a grenade. He has got a smoke, though, and double flash. Sonic just going to be playing in a four connector. It's not actually planted for him. See, he has to be careful in the scenario. Smoke goes down. Fate comes out from Kalex. He could easily bait out the shots and take the kill. 
footsteps out. Sonic can hear exactly where he is. We're going to hear the defuse coming out. Unfortunately for him, he didn't fake it. The knife, it comes out, Sonic. That was mean. He's going to get the extra cash in the bank, leaving him on 5.7k and picks up the AWP. Now, that's a high impact clutch right there from the T side. But if they're not careful, they could get shut down on this round. Be left with nothing. Maybe they need to throw a friend. On the CT side, though, maybe they should have thrown a friend because they've got nothing in the bank. And two guys with Deagles and Despy going to be looking a little bit desperate as he's got no armor but an AWP in the hand. So he's going to have to try and make full use of uh, the glass cannon. Now we can see the T's they're setting up over towards Ivy. We do have one holding off over towards mid as well. The smokes could be ready to fall out over towards A and help the descent as well. Fitch is the man who's holding behind with the bomb. Easy rotation for him. SNK trying to gain some ground over towards Pop Dog. It is smoked off now. That's bad. Despy has to make full use out of this situation. He is just going to distract them. And we're going to be seeing uh, the gun disappear a few times. Not quite sure what's up with that. I will try to fix it as soon as possible. Uh, that's be he should be able to get a shot on here. The Deagle does give away a position of the CTs, but nonetheless. Sonic making some movement over towards heaven. Sound is very weird here. IT is going to be playing for the long game here. They've got 40 seconds left on the clock. The rotation is coming in over towards B. And if they're not careful, mate, he's going to get the information. He is, but he's going to get dropped. Head going to get ripped off. Now, Kallax is going to have to rotate quick, but the smoke is down. He's distracted. He doesn't want to give it up, but he's going to have to go for it. As SNK is going to get the trade down to Xantaris, who got the kill onto Sonic. And now, Paz going to be looking to push up a patch in here in this lurking position once again. T's, they've got a strong hold on this. CT's know this. There's no point trying to go in for this. They had a very weak hold on the B site, and they lost it altogether. So whilst I go into fixing this, guys, please bear with me. I just want to make sure I can get the sound, uh, all the guns and back up. So just bear with me two seconds. You are not missing anything. But you're going to be reloading the GOTV, trying to get any bugs. King, like, kicked out. We don't We don't want bugs. Louis. Right, boom. It is looking a lot better now. It looks about fine. It looks about the same. But there wasn't really too many other issues. I just wanted to iron out any that could be coming around. And why not doing it during that time? Unless we got a full UMP combined out from four players. This is an interesting one. Love the new meta. AWP coming out from Despy. This time he's got armor and potentially an early frag if they walk into a crosshair and towards a main. Bastion might well be looking to do that. But at the same time, Baz with the UMP going to be pushing up towards electrical box. He's got a lot of early information, but he's going to get flashed out. Fitch entering in with the kill. And this is not the first time we've seen this from them. Now, Ramzik has got the ADO review, but Xantaris, he's going to be doing the rotation push through up into towards heaven. He's going to get a kill. SNK is going to get dropped, but the CT is dropping hard and fast as well. Now, Despa, he's got no HP. He's going to get dropped, and it's going to be left in a 1v3. And Ramzik has a read on Xantaris. As soon as he peeks, he could get dropped here. Boom. Headshots. And that is the round over and out. So looking very healthy here on the scoreboard for both teams. They're equal on a 4-4. No default rounds left here. And we're going to be seeing Sonic with these super fast fade knives. Obviously gives you speed boost. Major, he's got a deagle. He's going to be around with Zantaris. He's got a deagle. Paz is going to get dropped nice and early. And this is just going to be a partial buy coming out. If you look at the economy on the CTs, they are going to be able to save up into the next round and buy. And that's going to be going in for the dangerous peaks. He's only got a USB, so you can do this trying to... Pull out the T and get some early information. The grenade is not going to get a kill, and it does. Kobe is with them. Flash coming out. As he has peeked out, his head is exposed, and he's going to get one deed. Boom, he's going to get dropped. And now FH is going to be waiting for Despy to try and peek around the corner. Despy's got a P250, so at that distance, that is not a one tap. Santara is going to be looking to push in towards Patch, and he's not going to see him. He's going to get flashed. And now he's going to go in for the spray of the Deagle. Not going to happen. He's going to get dropped. And now Ramsey pushes up, takes out Despy. 
you unfortunately missed every shot. Major with the deagle. Going to be the last man standing. What is he going to be going for here? He's got a huntsman. Time for him to do some hunting. He's going to be peeking around the corner. Patchen going to be lining up for him. He misses. Tags him down to 82 HP, but this is going to be very dangerous. He goes for another shot, but it's going to be through the wall again. Not looking so healthy here, Major. Needs to land some of these Major shots. and Peeks around the corner, misses, because he's changed position. He's not a fool, dude. Oh, and he's going to get counter Deke there, and I think that was his uh, <laughs> teammate's uh, Deagle as well. I think that was Despy's Deagle that was picked up and used up against him. And Despy's going to be buying an AWP. This is interesting. He has no armor. He could have been dropped in a, a AWP by Kallax, but instead they go, they opt in for the, the double AWP setup. Oh, sorry, no, I was looking at the wrong side there. Ramzik has got the AWP on the other side. We're going to be looking at the economy. SNK going to be the lowest on the T side of 1.7k. On the CT side, all but Despy have $50 in the bank. Not really too much to play with. Ooh. Point is the damage calculation there. Kallax going to be getting an early kill onto SNK. That's a high impact kill right there. Now Fitch is going to be looking to push in. He's done a great job in the past pushing in towards A. Going to get denied that though. Patching over towards uh, Ivy, he's going to be able to look to get some money information, but Ramzik, he gets the trade over towards Paz on the H side. Kill for kill right here. It's going to be a nice distraction over towards B as well. M Major. Is he going to read this? Unfortunately, Sonic's going to be able to take down Despi, so that's the unarmored uh, AWP dropped in. Zant Harris as well dropped in Kallax, and Major going to be the last two players left alive, and Kallax. Moved away a little bit too soon. Could have taken the shot over towards Fitch, but unfortunately, Fitch got away. Fitch is a sneaky guy. He's going to be able to survive this. Especially with Major, who's just going to be holding back. He doesn't want to be pushing too aggressively here. Bachin's going to be waiting for Kalex. If he tries to push up, he's going to get dropped. But at the same time, he has peaked, and he's going to get the shot onto Bachin. That was a perfect read. He he must have seen a Bachin go over there, and he's just waiting for him. Boom, Kallax is going to be able to pick up another kill with the AWP, so I'm not going to get dropped. So that is going to be quite nice for the T's. They're doing a lot of damage here to the economy of Tengri, especially with Major picking up a kill. Is that an AK he's going to be able to pick up? There we go. Now, that is important to note. That's obviously a very decent weapon to be able to get. And they're going to be able to drop two weapons. So this is, I imagine, going to be a buy-up for the CTs, unless they want to save up and just go for a partial buy on a few of the players. Nope, there we go. m is dropped. Kallax, what is he going to be opting in for? He is actually just going to be going in for the AWP. The UMP has come out on pads. This is a brilliant buy, actually, considering where they are at with their economy right now. Paz over towards sort of a team main here. He has got a, a UMP, and Kallax, he does this multiple times. He gets burnt down. He goes for the early information, doesn't get it, gets tagged down very low to 36 HP very early on in here. Now he's in a bit of position to counsel them if they try to peek, if they flash him. They could easily counter peek him, but he also can just duck away. Wouldn't be seen as Antares if he peeks, down, peeks up a little bit too early. SNK could have dropped him, but SNK is going to be able to drop down or snake. As we should really be calling him. You see the teaser just positioning themselves up for a bit of a B take here. The bomb is dropped in showers. Ramzak going to be looking to recover that. He has got the orb, and he's playing very dangerously here because no one's actually covering Pop Dog. And Zantaris is there to try and push up. Now, this is a mistake that should have been taken advantage of. The, the early information should have come out from space, uh, space soldiers. Maybe go hunting for the pop dog information. Last player over there is going to be Patchen, who usually holds this angle. So I imagine that's why they're careless about it. Kallax gets the entry kill. Fitch tries to push in, gets punished. Smokes are coming out. Mage is going to be looking to pay it, change up his position. The counter smokes as well. Is, it, is Major going to be able to get a kill though? That's going to be the real question. No, he misses it, Sonic. That was a fantastic uh, kill onto him. And now, even with Ramzik drop, he gets the uh, smoke rather. And Flash, he's going to get the kill. And now peeking in towards uh, B's and Tyrus. Perfect trade out onto him. It's a three-on-three -on -three situation. But look at this. Look who we've got here. Patchen. Coming in from behind to look into stir of the force, as it were, and trying to win this out and take it to the 7th round forward for Trent Tengray, and this is working perfectly. He gets the, the first kill. Sonic going to be pushing up. Only 14 points HP. The Paz, the AWP, Despi are coming up behind Sonic. Got, gets a re, gets the kill, and now it's going to be leaving uh, Snake in patching. Last two players left alive on that T side. Despi going to be able to pick up as a Sonic earlier on. 
and he's going to have to back off. They do have defuse kits, but to try and get these kills is going to be very hard. He should be able to get the kill, but he's just going to back off. Moving into round 12, guys, we have got a 4-7 set up on the scoreboard, and it's going to be in favor of Tengri. You've got 7 rounds. A little bit unexpected, going off the previous history of Tengri. They haven't done great, so fantastic. But Space Soldiers is going to be the first sort of lineup against this team we have seen. We see Turkish team versus Tengri. I'm not quite actually sure where they are from. And then Fitch going to be pushing in, and this is his spot. He pushes in very aggressively. And Paz going to be meeting head on. He's going to get traded out. As Kallax takes the kill, and wow, Sonic pushes a little bit too aggressive, and he's going to get dropped down to 37 HP. His mage is going to be left alone over towards the B site, and this is going to be fine, because the T's, they're dedicating over towards uh, A, and that's going to be punished. Rams are going to get dropped, and this entire is going in for the, uh, another kill, but Snake is going to be able to get a drop on him. And that's going to be leaving it on 3-on-3, three and three. the rotation might be coming in, but the bomb is going to get denied. It's going to be dropped onto site, and now the T's going to have to try and recover this, and look at this, who's behind them in A main. It's none other than Kallax. He has read the put situation perfectly. He did hear the mark coming out behind him, and he takes down Snake, and that's why you don't knife the air. And that's Sonic going to be left with 37 HP, and he's going to get sprayed down. Kallax going to pick up his third kill this round. Round 13, guys. Space Soldiers trying to stop Tangri from trying to r r run away with this half. If they get this next round, that's going to be the round half win. Eight rounds on the board would be very nice for Tangri. They won a round of 10 if they can, if possible. If they can win the next two rounds, it would be absolutely fantastic for them. We are going to be seeing the smoke set up over towards A coming out from them any moment, I imagine. If that's set up, we can see over right here. Yeah, there we go. They're setting them up. We'll be seeing, we're seeing some contact over towards the B long, and the grenade comes out. Major dropped. Lord Kobe is not in his favor. Kallax is going to be going in for a very early smoke over towards Long. So I there. Not going to be that useful in a second, mate, because the smoke's about to come out over towards the A site. Pop dog drop going to happen. One player over towards the B site from the T's. And it's going to be a nice sort of uh, close in here. Although saying that, one player has rotated up through showers, so not 100% sure what they're going to be up to here. The bomb hasn't dedicated yet. It's going to be going down pop dog very slowly. Going in for the entry kills, maybe. Ramzik. We push him in very slowly as well. Gosti has got the AK for example. Well, the position of Paz takes the kill. Looking to get another one. He drops him. Goes in for the spray out behind him. It's not going to happen. He's going to get taken out. The Galil proving a little bit too damaging. And uh, Sonic picking up another one as well. As Despin Kallax is going to be the last two left alive. Going to uh, behind him is Kallax. He's done this before. Is he going to be able to make it work this time? They're going to be up against three T's in a high situation. Uh, Fitch, which on behind him, is going to get dropped though. He wasn't trigger happy enough. Snake going to be over towards Poppy. He's held this position before. Is Kallax going to be able to get the read? Not in time. He's going to get dropped, but the, the trade comes straight back out. And now Despi going to be looking to push up aggressively. He's got the AWP. You see Z in hand. He gets the kill and the defuse. Nice and easily there. Coming out from the Space Soldiers. A fantastic round. They've really made it work for themselves there. Honestly, Paz got dropped, but not before he took two players with him. Two rounds left of this half, guys, and Space Soldiers, if they can win the next two, it's going to put them in very good stead for trying to win this map, which I'm assuming they, they have actually sort of pushed towards and chosen. I would be able to confirm that in a moment. Yeah, so picks. That is going to be Space Soldiers who picked this one. Tangri picks Cobblestone, and you can see why Space Soldiers making quick work of two of the players. They're going to look at take, take out the rest of the partial by players. P2000 coming out, and Zantara is going to be able to trade out. And the Tech 9s are going to get picked up here. That was over in a flash. And we're going to be going into the final round of the first half. Double Orb setup coming out from the Space Soldiers side. Triple M4s as well. On the T's, spending every bit of cash they've got. 
We're going to full AK setup and as many pieces of utility as possible. Now, Major, he's got an orb this time, and he's going to be pushing over towards Heaven Air. Ramzik, playing aggressive area. This is usually a bitch's job, but this time it's going to be down to Ramzik. He's going to be able to get a kill, even though he's flashed. This guy keeps on doing this bitch. He's going to get tagged down to 1 HP. The push comes out. Zantaris takes down Fitch. The wrong person. Goes in for the spray. Takes down three. Going absolutely huge here. Ramzik going to be the last one left alive. He spots out one. Doesn't quite get it. Picks over towards Ivy. Takes down Kalix. He's going to try and pick up the York. It's going to get denied at the grenade. Whipping her away his dreams. And Ramzik going to have to pull out 4K here if he wants to win it. And up against like, Zantaris, who's already got three kills himself. He wants that 4K. He's hungry. And he gets it. So eighth round on the board for Space Soldiers. Tanker, you're going to be left behind on seventh. So now they have to play the catch-up game and try and win these first three default rounds. Take them to ten rounds on the board. And take over Space Soldiers' at the current small lead. And this is where we're going to be seeing Space Soldiers, I think, do very well. So a little bit of a slow buy up here. Three of the players haven't actually bought anything yet. There we go. Armor and utility. Yeah, two smokes, three flashes, a P250. Very nice. So we're going to be seeing Sonic with a diffuse getting a smoke. We'll be going in for that ninja play. Sparkles would be happy. we got two players set up over towards Pop Dog. Fitch, though, he's going to be countering the players in uh, a main. He's just going to be peeking in here. He doesn't care if he counters them. He could be positioning fantastically, but unfortunately for him, his head's going to get found. Paz whips it off. The bomb wasn't even spotted, so the CTs don't have the information. Sonic pushed all the way out in towards Ivy, waiting for one of the players. Now, Mage is going to be looking to go in for the peek. He has peeked, but he's going to get spotted. Tagged down for 30 HP through the wall. Now, Mage knows he is going to have to do some work here. He flashes out, does the smoke, and now the rotation going to happen? Not quite. So that's a very dangerous use of the smoke using it there, and he hasn't even run all the way away. The rest of the T's are going to be looking to set themselves up over towards B, but we're going to be seeing Patchen, who gets tagged down. Look at that 4 HP left on the board for her, or him rather. Stonic still looking over towards that smoke, doesn't want anyone to be pushing towards him. We might be uh, seeing Kalex here setting up for a smoke. Actually, no, it isn't. Sorry. That is going to be out. And balance already, so Flash are coming out, and the dedication over towards the A site has come out. But Snake is going to be able to deny him this. The connector has been smoked off, but it's not going to be effective enough. They're going to have to push in the USB in hand, trying to do as much damage as the P250. Going to make full use, gets the head of Sonic. Catches him down, but Passion going in, takes down Major, but the T is going to make quick work of the rest of the players. And boom, Kalex takes down Ramzik's head. These next two rounds could really push this in the right direction for Space Soldiers. They're already two rounds ahead of Tengri. And all they know they need to do is buy up those UMPs and make quick work with Tengri, who are going to force up into this one. But they can buy as much head armor as they want. UMPs can rip through them, and if we see a fast play coming out from Space Soldiers, I think this round is just these next sort of two two rounds at least. The players were taken. That'll be the default rounds out. And then we'll go into the real difficult area where it's going to be very back and forth for maybe one or two, unless Tengri just continually tries to force into this where they may well just drop the ball. Two AKs and Sonic though. He's going to be able to take down two. This is not expected. But he's going to get traded out at a distance. Almost called that wrong. But Kalex is going to be able to make it true. That's two UMPs out of play. CTs have got the manpower advantage. They have not got the guns. But saying that, that CZ was fantastic. Ramzik. He's going to be a little bit disappointed with that movement there. He has got the scout. And we are going to be seeing this snake over towards Pop Dog. Fitch over towards Sight as well. Ramzik has pushed all the way over towards Ivy. The kill comes out, and Zantara's making full use of that, that UMP, but at the same time, Drake comes out on the AKs in hands. Kalex gets another one, but he's going to get tagged down to 53 HP. Single shot from the scout from Rams that could take him down, and they don't know he's there. So this really could be the end of it, actually, for the Space Soldiers. They could lose this default round, and that's not going to be looking good for them. They're going to have to be forcing up into the next round. If they don't get the bomb down, it's going to be very painful. And they, they do realize that there could be another gun on the, the side. Or Tangri that could shut them down, and Patchen is going to do exactly that. He picks up a, a UMP. Ramsey has actually picked up the UMP as well. Not going to be so good for them, especially as he's going to get sprayed down. There comes in through Bob Dog. He's going to get taken down. <laughs> Not looking so good. Patchen going to get headshot in, and Zantar is going to huge here. Takes down another. And that's going to be the third kill on the board for him. So the two AK players made full use out of the AKs. They made it through alive with them, and going to be able to drop for their teammates who 
I think they kind of failed with their UMPs that round. I think we saw one kill with the UMP, so Zantaris was actually a UMP player, picked up the AK from his dead buddy. Quick play going to be coming in from Galaxy. He's got a lot of information over towards uh, Connect. So there's a guy there that sprays him down to 10 HP. 18 HP in that 8 looks a lot like a 0, but nonetheless, Galaxy pushing in versus Zantaris takes down 2 Major for a third. And Sonic dropping Major with the USP. They know exactly where he's going to be over towards this green train. Waiting for him to push. He does a few shots. Now Kallax is going to be looking to peek around the corner. Does get tapped though. If he's not getting going to get dropped. 18 HP left on him. Two bullets. He's going to get chased. This guy's hungry. He drops on top. But Despi has got that Mac 10. He's going to be able to finish him off. And that's going to be another round on the board for space soldiers. Despi is going to be looking to buy up the AWP. He has dropped a gunner to his teammate as well. So it's going to be some money saved there. So far, as Antares and Kanak's going to be carrying and pushing space soldiers up, but Despi and Majors, they have some that have had some really nice kills in sort of situations where they have won it. But Tengri, they're going to be falling by the wayside here. It's not really getting the high impact kills they need to. We're going to be seeing the full buy coming out against the full buy. So Tengri, they've got very limited utility, three smokes. Five flashes, so that's half decent, but when it comes down to it, you need as many as you can get. So missing those two smokes and a lot of Molotovs, so some incendiary grenades, is going to be very damaging to try and hold this off. Especially, as you note on here, what they haven't got is anyone playing this area. They've got Sonic, who's playing over towards sort of Ivy area, sort of long trains. And then we've got two players playing very deep within the site over towards trains. And very deep in towards B here. I mean, uh, Snake is going to be able to rotate over here, but it's going to be a lot longer than if he was hanging around this area. But the angle is quite good to be able to hold it off. And if they, they have the double peak over here, Patchin, where is he actually based? It? Is he dropped down onto the site? Yes, so the smoke is out for him. 45 seconds left on the clock, now 40. We're going to be seeing the T's look to try and dedicate themselves to one of the site. They are running out of time here. Still 35, long enough to do an execute or two. Looking to do a bit of an execute in towards B. The flashes and smokes coming out. The wall of China coming out and on towards the uh, A side. But we could see the push come up. And Ramzik, he's going to be in perfect position to try and counter this if they push through. Uh, Pop Dog, are they going to do that? And they thought it was a fake. They've read it wrong completely. What is going on? Paz is going to be looking to peek out. They're all by electrical box. And last player left on the A site is going to be Ramzik. He drops the player. Major goes in for the trade on the pitch. Ramzik is going to be fantastic. Turns on one, turns on another. He's going to be able to get three kills before he's dropped. And six seconds, sevens. Oh, no. Time's going to be run out. Kali's going to be pushing in for the kills. He's going to get dropped. And that's going to be the win for Tengri. By the skin of their teeth, it was, if it wasn't for Ramzik, they would have ended up losing that. They've rotated all the way over towards B. They thought it was a fake. Fantastically done by Tangri, but they, they tried to execute in a little bit too early. Two seconds or so. So, so we are going to be seeing the, the force up into this round. Or, well, buy up, but we're not going to be seeing two weapons dropped over towards Death B. You can see there's no catch left. We're going to be seeing the push into a lower B, going to happen in lower ramp. But it's not going to be too aggressive. They're going to just hold it off. Zantara is a little bit hungry for blood, but not over hungry. He is just going to be waiting for them to try and see what they can pile out of the bag. Assuming it's not going to be enough. Now, Major over towards Long, going to be looking to peek in. Hasn't seen anyone. He's got that tech nine, so he's going to be going in for the early aggression. Uh, maybe going for the trade kill. If they take him down, he wants to get them uh, the chance to be able to take that CT down, open up a position on the map. Centaurus and Paz have dropped down into Pop Dog. The smoke going to be coming out from Fitch to try and counter this. But the XQ in towards the A site is happening. The smoke is out. This is going to allow them to try and open in towards the A site, and Paz is going to be playing aggressive here with his teammate. But Sonic, look at this. He's on the other side of the smoke. He's going to be able to spray them down. He's going to do a lot of damage, but Fitch is going to be the mage damage to it here. He gets three kills before he's dropped by Paz. Paz is going to use here. Picks up one kill, another kill, and now he has to go large here against the three players left alive, and he's already got two. Not going to happen with the third, as he's going to get dropped by Sonic. This is a little bit too quick for him. So Ramzik really coming back with some uh, real impactful sort of plays here. 
on the CT side, and we're currently going to be seeing a scoreline of 11 to 9 in favor of Space Soldiers. They won the first three de default rounds, but seemingly it's going to get taken away from them. I said it'd be quite back and forth, but so far it is looking like it could just go one round. Tengre doing a fantastic job so far. Now we go for have a look at the buy on the T side. Looking a little bit desperate, a little bit worse for wear. They might be just going down Pop Dog, doing explosive action into here, have a few players hold off uh, upper so they don't get pushed on. But apart from that, we're going to see two D, well, sorry, one Deagle, two P, two fifties, two Glocks, and now the only information Major has peaked. He's going to get grenaded out. Some damage comes out. Basically none though. One HP damage done to Despi. Oh, look at this, the rotation uh, over towards uh, upper on the, towards B and heaven is going to be happening. And probably the push as well. They got the smokes and flashes for it, but at the same time, the counter flash is going to be coming out and Snake is going to be perfect position. Goes for the spray down. He picks up one patch and one on two Despi as well, but the bomb is going to be going down. They're going to have to try and take him down, but they haven't got enough damage or position. And Kalex get a counter kill as well, but Snake coming in from the side out takes down Major as Kalex is dropped by Fitch. Now on the heaven has stood no chance in hell, or rather in heaven. Yes, my jokes are the best. Everyone loves them. And we're going to be seeing four CTs left alive. And they're going to all have kits. So, that's no money spent on the kits left over on the CT side. Patchen doesn't even need one. If you've got four, that's more than enough. Saying that, going to buy it. Anyway, not worth the risk. Plenty of cash in the bank. They have to be careful because that could get shut down. Especially with uh, Space Soldiers. They're going to be going in for a full barrage of utility. Look at that glorious buy-up. Four AKs as well. No AWP on either side at the moment. And the early smoke going to be coming out over towards Connector. Flash as well to follow up. Going in for the double flash. That's going to be distracting quite nicely now. Paz, he's going to be playing aggressive. He's going to jump down. He hears the Molotov. Goes in. Takes the frag. This is exactly what we need to see. These are the impact kills. Paz needs to be pulling off. And they're going to get a bomb down. You know, they're going to be the thorn in Tegra's foot. Holding this position. Going in for the sprays. Through the smokes. Oh, Fitch going to get the kill on Despi. Despi. Not realizing that angle could even exist in a pass. I'm gonna get dropped. This is turning very bad here, but Zantaris gets one, but no, he's gonna get dropped. So now Major gonna be left on a 1v3 situation, looking to push in through lower, but that's gonna be a very difficult job for him as Ramzik is in the perfect counter position. He's gonna get dropped. Sonic going in for the defuse. As we move into the next round, I have to note that was the equalizer round. Tengray have caught up successfully. They've won three, four rounds in a row. Two of them have been diffusers, so that's going to allow the cash on Space Soldiers to be high enough for them to be able to buy up into this round. A little bit less uh, utility on their side, but they have got the AWP out on Despi, and this is going to be an interesting play. They kind of need to be uh, high intense sort of pressure on Tengri, uh, Tengri shutting down a lot of the angles. Same time, no AWP out on the, the CT side, though. We're going to see what they can pull off here. Major has been smoked off. He's going to cross straight to over. And that was quite a good angle as well. The CTs could actually be peeking out. So they have to be careful. But Fitch is going to be in Pop Dog waiting. Waiting hungry. He takes two. They just drop it straight into his mouth here as he takes out two. And now Major going to be doing an interesting angle here. With Despi, they've, they've got him boosted. If Sonic tries peeking this, even if he's got mollied off or smoked off, he could still be taken down. Major going to be playing for the aggressive push though. He's playing up against Sonic. The smoke is going to be counting. Coming down, he's going to be able to push straight onto it. Read that perfectly. Gets the kill, but he's going to get stuck. And he's going to be tagged down to 12 HP. That's going to be looking very painful here. As we are still on that 11-11 round. Whoever wins this one is going to be starting to take the lead. Now Snake is going to be able to counter Major. As he's going to peek it. Gets the headshot. But Kalex, he's going to be able to take down Fitch. And remember, Fitch has already got two kills on board. Really high impact round for this guy. And we've got Despi and Kalex. AWP, AK versus full barrage of M4s. Going for the push, but look at this. Ramzik, he's positioned himself perfectly. He knows it could be coming from multiple angles. Despi going to be looking to clear out uh, IV with the AWP. If he beats up into heaven, this could be the end for Ramzik. But if he doesn't, that could just be the end of it for those guys. The bomb is going to be going down. The heaven player has been spotted. He's going to have to try and do some work here. He's going to get dropped by the AWP, and now we're going to be seeing a snake push up. No, Kalex gets the kill. Patchen. 
Going to be left in a very difficult situation. Picks up the kill on Zespi, though, and Kali's going to be left in a 1v1. The spray comes out. He's going to get dropped. 15 le points left of HP. And that's going to be a clutch. Tengri really wanted. They wanted to take the lead for this. They've not had this for a long time. So Tengri have got 12 rounds on the board. They've got an AWP to drop over towards Ramsek. And this is going to be making the economy look very fantastic here. Or starting to, anyway. Where Space uh, Space Soldiers, Space Soldiers, they got the bomb down, so they're going to be able to buy up, but still looking a little bit worse for it. So those early flashes in towards the ASI are always a nice add-on and touch for the T side. It makes the, the CT a little bit unsure, but that smoke was a little bit bad, as it's just going to be able to peek out over it. So pass it while they're staying on the truck, and Rams are going to open it up a kill onto Major. Pass going to get dropped as well, but Santara's going to be looking to do some counter kills, popping their heads with the CTs. Same time, Sonic looking to go into the trade, takes down two of the players on the, the T side. Even Kallax in 1v3 picks up the first kill, but he turns his back, and Patchen is going to shoot him down. There we go, a pause has come in. Space Soldiers have done a timeout. This will be a tactical pause, 25 seconds of a pure wonder. What are they doing? What are they discussing right now? What have they worked out? Ooh, there's a little bit of my doodling. At the moment, these guys are having to try and think what is going on. What do they need to change? These guys are going to be looking pretty happy with themselves. Oh, I can't even draw a smiley face properly. It's not letting me. There you go. But nonetheless, what is going wrong here? We do see them executing in towards A multiple times. They get smokes down. It doesn't work. We've seen them going for the uh, sort of wall of smokes. We saw the ro early rotation coming out from the CTs. They end up around here. Ramzik, though, was lucky enough to hold it on here. So why don't they try that again? Go for the wall of smokes. Go for potential fake. Maybe even follow through on the fake. It could be really interesting. We could see some interesting decisions coming out here. Especially as we might be heading to the end of this map with... Wow, Zataris with those red gloves and very red knife. Some very sexy uh, Garner gloves right there. CT is going to be having a three people over towards the A site. One over towards Ivy. He's going to be pushing very aggressively. And that's going to be Sonic. Whereas on the, the, the T side, they got a Glil. Three other players. And UMP on Despi. Whereas Santaris, he's got the AK-47. That's the guy you want to have it on. He is locking onto those heads and popping them. And now they're pushing towards B sides. Happened. They didn't make too much noise. Patrick gets traded out by Major. And Major gets another one. He's doing a fantastic job with the Galil, considering its restrictions. He's going to get tagged down to 11 HP, though. Ramsey going to be able to trade him out. And this is going to be leaving it a three-on-three -three situation. Sonic taking it to a two-on-two. Bitch -two. coming in from behind. Paz has not read the situation at all. He's going to get dropped now. Despi can be looking a little bit desperate to try and win this out. He's going to be holding up behind him, looking to push up, and he's going to spot the player over towards behind him, but at the same time, you can hear the footsteps. Where are they? They're all over the place. He's going to get taken down. The confusion was real. The ladder play was fantastic coming out from the CTs as they take another round on the board ahead of Space Soldiers. Who thought they might have had this in the bag? Just to refer back to it, I mean, they've got 61.5% win ratio on this map. They must be feeling pretty confident on it now. Especially Tengrave have actually had quite a bad performance so far in this league. Whereas, uh, and, and they, they got a 44% win ratio on this map, which is 8 to 10. But at the same time, they couldn't know what to expect. They've not played against Tengri at all on this map. And sure hell, it's, it's, it's probably been a while since they've sort of actually probably started them. Now Despi is going to be buying up the AWP, no armor, going in for that full class cannon. Setup wise, we're going to be seeing a few execute smokes over towards the A site. Are they going to follow through? I can't tell you that. Paz, he's going to be heading over towards B. He is backed up by Zantaras as well, and that's kind of guy I'd want to have my back. You can see on the map, Sonic is on the other wall of that smoke, and for whatever reason, I must have hit that wrong, and the the X-ray had gone off. So Major is going to be able to. So hold this angle. He's not going to get challenged too much. Sonic is there waiting. I'm not sure if he knows that someone's going to be pushing that early on. I mean, it's an obvious place where T is going to be, but he might just peek out a little bit too early. He might get dropped by saying that. Major's going to give away his position. Sonic could peek out and get the frag here. He's going to be looking to do that. He does a little bit of damage, and Patchen fully exposed himself, but Major going to be able to get a kill onto Sonic. Ramsey going to be looking to try and counter this. He has got the M4. Is it going to be coming out? And Fitch 
on a very aggressive position. Ramza gets the trade out kill now. Early coming out from Fitch, but he does get traded out by Paz. But dropping the Zantaras is going to be feeling very good for them. At the same time, Snakes dropped himself right into the crosshairs of Paz, who gets the kill. And Apache coming in from the side. Now we're going to be able to get that backstab. Takes down Paz, but Despi takes out the final two CTs. Ramzik, Apache going to get dropped, and that's going to be a first round in a while for the T's. So 12 rounds on the board for Space Soldiers. They can't lose anymore unless they wanted to take it to overtime. As Tangri are playing from match point here. And look at the economy, we are going to be seeing a full buyout from both sides, but a little bit worse for wear for Tangri. They've got two UMPs, but holding these angles here, play fast, play hard. And they've got the four, sorry, three M4s, four AKs on the T side, and at the AWP with armor this time on Despi. You're interestedly... Did he have cash? No, he didn't have any cash for head armor. Well, that's a little bit risky. We've got Major with the AK looking to hold that long angle. Whereas the AWP is actually over towards a sort of shower room. Peeking up over towards the uh, upper area towards sort of heaven. No one's going to be peeking them up there yet. Well, we do have one player that's going to be a uh, snake holding it, but not too aggressively uh, holding right back in case they do peek. They have them. Same time, but we do actually have Fitch placing it, playing at the close angle with the UMP over towards Pop Dog. The more aggression that comes out, the more information he's going to get. Unfortunately for him, trying to wall bang through that wall right above him, or ceiling rather, doesn't do any damage. I think it does like one point of damage per shot with the UMP. And we're going to be seeing Major peek over towards Ong. He's going to have to be careful. Snake has got the M4A1. But we have got the head armor on the T's here. And they're going to be looking to execute in here. Are oh, they going to be able to get the frags? We're going to be seeing what Snake can do. He picks up the head on Major. I've called it, but the trade comes out. But Patching gets the drop on Zantaris. Pat's going to have to do some hard work here. Him and the Zantaris having some fantastic game so far this game. They're going to be pushing straight up. But Patching's read the situation. He's backing off. He doesn't want any of this. He's going to help it. Wait for his teammates. He takes down Paz. Despi and Kai is going to be the last two players left alive. Despi going to look to get the bomb down. But look at this. Who's coming up behind them? Fitch, the troublemaker. He's going to be looking to try and make some early frags here. He gets one, takes down Zakalix, but at the same time, he's going to be left in 1v3. Picks up uh, Ramzik, but there's a player coming right up behind him, but down through a lower ramp. Despi's going to be looking to push up. He saw the side of Patchen, but misses the shot. He's going to have to push up hard and fast. He goes for the no scope, takes it. Going to be left in a 1v1. Fitch took the higher ground, got the kill, and got the win for his team, taking them to match points. You really have to give it to them. I mean, Kalex and Taurus and Paz have been playing very well. Major, not so much. Despi, even more so, not so much. But their, their kills have been quite good. They've got the bomb down as well. So they play, they've played that role. And there's been some high impact kills from the Orpa. Despi, but at the same time, we're going to have to see a different change in tactics. As space soldiers are losing grip on this. Well, they have lost grip on this. And Tengri most likely have this in a bag. But we're always optimist. They could bring this back. Smoke comes out, the early push comes in, Snake's going to be able to drop two, and now it's going to be down to Paz to try and bring this back. The picks up the bomb, falls back, and they're going to be looking very, very worse for wear here. There we go, early aggression coming out from Fitch over in towards Pop Dog. He's going to regret it. He's going to get dropped by that UMP, AK recovered by Set Despi. This is a good pickup here. But Kalex, he's going to be dropped down to. 10 HP. Not looking so pretty. He does drop the UMP over to the player. He wants the AK. He wants to go for the early frags. Go in for the aggression over towards Long. If he gets dropped, that's fine. Ramzik gets the kill. Taking it to a 2 on a 4 situation. I'm not even sure what was said in chat there, but that is probably not going to be positive. Baz is going to be looking to drop in, but the incendiary grenade going to be completely shutting them down here. They've only got 40 seconds. They may have used this out, but he's going to be in a perfect position to count them. Patching going to get the drop in Paz. Despi, he has made his way down, but it's going to be read perfectly in the head. It's going to get popped, and that's going to be the first game and map over to Tengri Train. 16-12, what a fantastic round for them. And look at that scoreboard as well, guys. Absolutely brilliant. Space Soldier is expecting to come into this and be able to win it out, but not quite going to happen. Be looking a little bit disappointed with themselves there as they are not able to take the win away. So we are going to be going into the second map, and it is going to be Cobblestone. 
and I'll go back into the stats on that shortly. But for now, we're going to a very, very short break. So I'll be right back. <laughs> 